Now, for those of you with a keen sense of observation, you'll notice the temperature in Chicago dropped about 15 degrees in the last few seconds, and the time rolled back about two and a half hours. That's because the power of Windows 7 allows you to change the temperature outside and also to uh, change time. Now, okay, it doesn't really do that, but it is a really great operating system. It does a lot more. Um, what we're going to be covering now is uh, the cons. What are the cons of upgrading to Windows 7? And is it worth your time and money? Let's take a look here. Uh, first of all, one of the greatest cons of upgrading to Windows 7 is that you will have to do a clean reinstall of your operating system. There are only a few versions of Vista that allow you to upgrade to Windows 7, but if you're migrating from Windows XP, Windows Vista, or any other uh, lower tier uh, Windows, you're going to have to do a fresh installation of Windows 7. And what that means is that you are going to have to transfer your data files onto another machine, install Windows 7, and bring it back. And, you know, that is a hassle, and it's likely to put uh, some people off. But, you know, uh, I tell all my clients you should do... Uh, a clean reinstall of your operating system and do a spring cleaning every year anyway just to get rid of uh, you know the bloated software the garbage in your system uh, possible viruses trojans and spyware so you know it's it's not a bad thing and this is probably a good time to do it for you and upgrade anyway so let's look at uh, a few of the other uh, options that Windows 7 offers Windows 7 offers jump lists that the other former uh, win operating systems didn't. You can see view, uh, in your available networks in just a couple of clicks. The peak, shake, snap. Okay. And you'll see performance improvements in the way your computer hibernates or sleeps. And also, for those of you reluctant to leave your uh, Windows XP, Windows 7 also offers now... Windows XP productivity programs, which allows you to run Windows XP in a virtualized manner on your Windows 7 desktop. So uh, I know some software is not going to be compatible with Windows 7 or Windows Vista and only works with Windows XP. So this great little program that's available for download will let you run Windows XP, the actual virtual program, on Windows 7 and that's that's just remarkable now let's look at the price of upgrading to upgrade to Windows 7 with the home premium edition will cost about hundred ninety nine dollars but Windows uh, Microsoft has a lot of great deals uh, you can get the OEM version which is basically uh, Windows 7 but not packaged so sexy and so beautiful and uh, it doesn't offer Microsoft support. You can purchase it here at Newegg for $109.99. And I've seen it at Micro Center for $99. So Microsoft is offering great deals on Windows 7 to a lot of different sectors. For example, students. This is a great time to be a student. And uh, Microsoft is offering students a copy of Windows 7 for a cost of $29.99. Wow. Now you must be registered at an institution that has an email with an EDU extension. So you're gonna have to be registered at a university or a college and have an email and Microsoft will allow you to purchase Windows 7 for only $29.99. It almost makes me want to go register for maybe an art class or something. Just, just to get Windows 7 at that price, and it's just a really great price, a really great piece of software, and for only $29.99, you can't beat it. Uh, alongside that, uh, Microsoft is offering a family pack version of the Windows Home Premium Edition. That will cost $149 and will allow you to uh, install that on up to three machines. So you can see now Windows 7 is, in my opinion, a really great piece of software, and they offer it in uh, several uh, price ranges from students to families to businesses, 
And, you know, a lot of people might still be reluctant and say, you know, after the whole uh, Vista debacle, I'm just going to wait and see, you know, if there are any bugs. You know, I've been using the software for about over four months now. And to be honest, I think it's only crashed on me once. And uh, I just love it. You know, we are... Uh, in essence, moving into a 64-bit computing world where, you know, XP, even though Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates has said, will support XP up until 2014, there's just going to be uh, a phasing out of the Windows XP. Support for it is going to wane. Nobody's going going to make the drivers and the software for Windows XP or be able to support it. And it's eventually going to phase out, and Windows 7 is going to be the monumental Windows 7 best ever software ever put out there. You know, I think uh, Bill Gates has come a long way uh, since uh, the DOS version of Windows, and uh, there have been some steps and falls, And but, you know, we're at Windows 7 now. This is the ultimate machine, the, the ultimate software the operating system. Go ahead, get yourself a copy, make yourself happy. It's cheap. I've showed you places where you can get it for inexpensively priced. So yeah, this is the time, this is the place, this is the future. Windows 7 is just a remarkable piece of operating system software. Go get yourself a copy. And you know, Microsoft has really outdone themselves this time. I am really impressed and it's really hard to impress me because I was reluctant to go from uh, Windows XP to Vista and I didn't and I'm, I'm glad I didn't and uh, I went, I'm going from Windows XP to Windows 7 and I'm really glad I did. It's just uh, really made my life a lot easier and I think it's going to really impress you also. Uh, go ahead, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see any future tutorials or presentations, let me know. Please subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, just let me know. Okay, my name is Brom Rumi from MyCrazyMachine.com.